Hey, how are you? Sorry, I've been a bit out of touch. Okay. The kids are suddenly missing you. A lot. I'll call them over when we're done. You look good. Thank you. Listen, I talked to Sal Goldblum. Sal Goldblum? Do you remember Patty Goldblum? We worked together when you and I were dating. Vaguely. We're Facebook friends, blah, blah, blah. But her brother's a divorce attorney. I gave him a call. <sighs> if we work this out amicably, we can both use Sal and it'll only cost $10,000, which is amazing for where we live. I mean, the average divorce costs about $20,000 anywhere, much less the Northeast. I mean, of course you'd be free to hire your own attorney, but we'll save a lot of money if we just use the one. Anyway, you know me, I'm a planner. I know nothing's been decided, just doing some research. My father's in the hospital. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Is he okay? The you know, virus went through the nursing home like wildfire. Yeah, you know, it was a ticking bomb, no surprise. Is he on a ventilator? Is that a stupid question? No, no, he's not. I just can't go see him. Right. I'm trying to figure out a way to get an iPhone to him so maybe we could FaceTime or something, but I, you know, I can't imagine teaching him new technology in the best of circumstances. Yeah, save your money. Or at least try a cheap Android. I'm so sorry. Oh, God, I'm just a bottomless pit of wrong things to say. If I knew about you, Father, I never would have led with the divorce attorney. We can totally talk about that another time. God, I'm such an idiot. All my life, I say the wrong thing at the wrong time. Before we met, I volunteered at a senior center serving dinners. You told me this story. There was a man with two prosthetic arms, and I warned him that the plate was hot. As soon as it came out of my mouth, I knew it was stupid. Everyone at the table seemed content to pretend it didn't happen, but I, I couldn't let it rest. So I said, oh, but which only served to draw attention to the fact that I knew he had fake arms. But the act of saying, oh, but I've elevated it from stupid to profoundly stupid. So in an effort to salvage it, I said, you know, in case the plastic melts, meaning the heat of the plate might melt his fake fingers, which everyone at the table knew would be a ridiculous thing for me to consider, much less warn about when handing a hot plate to a man with no arms. Plus they were hooks, not hands. I Meaning he was in a better position to handle a hot plate than anyone in that building. And he was wearing an army hat. So I drove into the skid, which I thought was smart, came right out and asked him if he picked up a live grenade, sacrificing himself for the unit, because veterans love to tell a proud story. <sighs> Turns out he had flat feet, assigned to making piston rings in Sacramento. Vietnam era, smoked a lot of pot, fell asleep on the sheathing machine and cut off his forearms. <sighs> Could have heard a pin drop. And then I realized he ordered a BLT. So the plate was actually room temperature. <sighs> I guess the point is that I'm really sorry to bring up the divorce when your father's dying of the coronavirus. Oh my God, you didn't say he was dying, did you? And I, I just kind of assumed because, you know, he's 80 something. And wasn't he a heavy smoker? $10,000 is good. Oh my God. Mommy, can we talk to Dad?